All right, so this is a wax injector. There is a knob. It allows you to adjust the heat that you want. And you'll notice when the red light is on, that means that the resistor is now going. And when the red knob light is off, that means that it's no longer heating. For all intents and purposes, all you need to know is that your wax is fully melted and that your mold is aligned. So, you got a little piston here, and when you push down, wax comes out. And you do not want your wax coming out really, really hot, boiling hot. So when you inject, you want to make sure that it's coming out translucent. You can see through it, but there's not a lot of air bubbles. Okay. Uh, if it's boiling in there, it's just going to end up with porosity in your part, and that's more work than you really want. So ultimately, you just need to make sure that the base of your rubber mold seats on this brass fitting, and then apply pressure, fill your mold completely, and then the tricky part is to invert it correctly. And if you don't get that flip step done on time, what you end up with is a mold that... Um, doesn't fully cure. Okay. So if you look closely, you can see that not all the wax filled the part. It's still cooling. These darker regions right here are still hot, and right here because they're thicker. And the lighter regions imply that the wax has already cooled. So when you pull it out, sometimes what you'll see is your part only cast in like a thin film or a hollow shell. It's not like a full thickness part. You can throw that back into the wax pot and melt it down. And usually the first or first couple of injections take a while to warm up the mold, so you just discard them. And then when your mold is warmed up, you just commit to that full piston and then invert it. And you can see that we still have an air pocket at the bottom. So we've got to work on the flow dynamics or how we do the filling. Just like 